next up we have Ant-Man Protection versus Claw in the Clobber in Time challenge and we are playing on the standard difficulty. If you missed my uh, first video, uh, I played uh, Miss Marvel against Crossbones and won that game. And then I played uh, Doctor Strange against uh, Taskmaster and won that game too. And lastly I played Iron Man Justice against Red Skull and won that game as well. So a clean uh, record for now. Let's see if we can keep that up. Uh, still I have to play against Claw. And lastly we have Ultron and we have Black Panther aggression for that game. So let's get started. So the last thing we need to do for the setup for Claw is to discard cards until we hit a minion. So we get an armored card. Comes into play with tough. Then we draw our opening hand. We get endurance, giant stomp, pin particles, uh, nova, resize an army of ants. Let's see. I think we are just. Flipping to giant form, so we deal one damage to an enemy. Then I'll just hit and defeat armored guard. I think I will uh, flip to tiny version. The resize. So we play resize and draw a card. We remove one threat from a scheme. And we get energy barrier from the resize card draw. I think I'm playing Nova. And we get a card draw from the pin particles. Well, that sucks. Well, what can I do? Let's play the army of ants and hit claw for one. That is our turn. No, it's not. I will thwart uh, for. I'll just hit for two. Then we read, uh, ready up. We drop a cup to five. We get unflappable moment of momentum shift, iron fist, wasp, and clear. We go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme. Claw attacks. I won't defend. So we take two damage. Encounter card for this turn is Sonic Boom. I just spent uh, energy, mental or physical resource, or exhaust each of your characters. So I'll use Wasp, Unflappable, and uh, Iron Fist. I'll keep Iron Fist and uh, discard Momentum Shift. Yeah. Okay, 
Well, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Mm, we can't play anything on this turn, so I'll just deal one damage here. Uh, towards this away. Flip. Deal one damage here. And uh, deal two damage here. So we ready up. Draw back up to four. I get enhanced reflexes and counter punch. So, villain phase starts. We add a threat to the main scheme. Claw attacks. I will defend with Ant Man. Claw hits for. Uh, we give a tough status to Claw and hits for zero. And I'll just counter punch to remove the tough. And count the cardies. Claw attacks. Uh, claw attacks for put the weapon runner in play and deal one damage. And we add one threat to the main scheme. Okay, well, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. I think I will play the enhanced reflexes. I'll flip to tiny version. So I can remove one from here. I'll deal one damage to the weapons runner. And Nova won't do anything. Be ready up. I go back up to five. We get Hive Mind, Med Team, Momentum Shift, Med Team, and Wrist Gauntlets. Go to the villain phase. Uh, we add one threat to the main scheme. Claw attacks. I will uh, use. Nova's ability and I will deal two damage to Claw and I will defend with Ant-Man. Claw hits for five damage. Well, uh, we take three damage. The weapons runner attacks. I will discard this to deal 2 damage to the weapon runner with Nova's ability. And that is that, so we get an encounter card and it is Assault. Uh, we discard Med Team to deal 2 damage to Claw. And Nova will go in front of the attack. And get defeated. So, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, I think this turn we will use the army of ants to take Claw to phase 2. And we search for the Immortal Claw side scheme. Put it into play. And it has 3 threats on it. And I'll play Hive Mind. I'll remove two from here and one because I have one army of ants in play, so we get rid of this. So Claw only has 18 damage, uh, 18 health left. Left. And then I think I'll go to giant form. I deal one damage here. And that is our turn. So we're ready up. And we draw back up to four. 
we get energy barrier, turn stomp, resize and the knight's nurse. We are a threat to the main scheme. Claw attacks, I will defend. Claw hits for 1 plus 4, so 5. And we have a defense of 3, so take 2 damage. Counter card is advance. So claw skins for two plus two, so we advance. And we get an enemy. We get the weapons runner. And that is the villain phase. So let's go to the next hero phase. Let's think about this. I think I'm playing the giant stomp. So I'll use one resource from the enhanced reflexes. I'll use the knight's nurse and enhanced barrier, uh, energy barrier. So we deal one damage to uh, each minion, then eight damage here. Then uh, I'll resize, I'll flip to an untiny version, I will defeat the weapons runner, and I'll flip back to giant version. Actually I'll flip down to, yeah I'll, I'll flip to giant version. We deal one damage here. We draw back up to four. We get armored best, mockingbird, giant strength, and brother voodoo. We go to the villain phase. Yeah, we ready up first. Uh, we add a threat to the main scheme. We defend for the attack. So one plus. Uh, one is two, and if this attack activation deals damage to you, exhaust your hero. No, it didn't. Encounter card is armored guard. Okay. Well, uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next hero phase. This turn, I think I'll just play Mockingbird. I'll use this enhanced reflexes. Uh, actually, no. We don't have anything to. Uh, we don't have any. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll play it because I can keep Brother Voodoo. I'll discard the armed best and turn strength. And we stun Claw. Mockingbird will remove the top from the armored guard. And I'll flip to tiny version. We remove one threat from. Here and that is our turn, except we will deal one damage to armored guard. Are we ready up? Are we drop back up to five? So we get pin particles, army of ants, Antman's helmet, and giant strength. So we definitely will be playing the helmet next turn. Uh, we go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme. Uh, claw is stunned, so we remove the stun. Armored guard uh, hits. I just take the damage. And we get melter. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So this turn I will play the helmet. Uh, except first I will play. Uh, army of ants with the pin particles, so I draw a card. Then I will use the army of ants to defeat the guard. Then I will play the helmet and flip to giant version. And 
I'll deal one damage here. I'll hit here and hit here and also heal two with the helmet. Are we ready up. Now we drop back up to four. We get counter punch, army of ants, second wind and black widow. Let's see. Um, he had a threat to the main scheme. Claw will attack. I will defend with Ant-Man. So one plus one and deal one damage to each hero. So I'll take one damage. But I don't don't won't take any damage from the attack. And I think I won't counter punch because I want to heal with the second wind to give myself a bit more breathing room. So I will I will let that go. Okay. Um, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the actually Yeah, I still need to with the encounter card and it's radioactive man that is not nice well um, let's see what we can do next turn so let's go to the next hero phase so I think I'm definitely flipping to tiny version so we remove one thread from here then I will play second wind Heal four. Fun fact: <laughs> this is the first time I ever play this card, so that's funny. Oh yeah, and uh, we flipped, so we drew a card. So actually, we could have saved the army of ants for next gen by playing the energy barrier instead. So I'll do that. I'll use these to deal two damage to claw. That is our turn. We're ready up. I draw back up to five. We get an extra encounter card and claw gets an acceleration token. So our hand is resize, enhanced reflexes, second wind, power of protection, and army of ants. And uh, yeah, we still need to shuffle this this tech to. So we add a threat to the main scheme. Claw attacks. Mockingbird will defend. Mockingbird hits for uh, the ready. Uh, the claw hits for two damage to hit Mockingbird. Radioactive man hits, so I have to discard one card at random. discard army of ants unfortunately well uh, we go to the encounter cards first one is close vengeance claw attacks you if this attack deals damage will defend claw attacks for one plus six <laughs> okay so uh, we defend for two so seven versus uh, so we take five damage. Ouch! And the last one is armored guard. Well, thank God we didn't die. <laughs> okay. Well, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So I think uh, we really need to get healing done. So I'll be playing the second wind, so I heal 5 damage myself, because I spent a mental resource for the second wind. Then I will resize to giant version, so we remove the tough. I forgot to add it, but I remove it now. 
and we draw a card. Yep. Then I will flip back down, remove one thread from here. I'll use the army of ants to deal two damage here. And ready up, I'll just discard that. So uh, we get enhanced reflexes, there are momentum shift, wasp and momentum shift. We go to the villain phase, we add a threat to the main scheme, core attacks, uh, and one defense. Uh, one plus, we put the weapons runner into play, and two, so three damage, so one gets through. Then these guys attack, so we discard one card at random and take three damage. We lose the enhanced reflexes. And encounter Cardis. Another weapons runner. So we really need to try and end this as soon as possible. Okay, well, uh, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Actually, I think I forgot to heal two damage last turn with the uh, helmet. So I'll just add it now. So, uh, I think I'm... Yeah, so I'm... Uh, I need to deal one damage to that armored guard. To defeat it. Then one damage to claw. Then I will flip the giant version, I deal 1 damage to claw, I heal 2 damage, then I will play wasp, and wasp deals uh, 2 damage to claw in because I'm in giant version, and wasp defeats claw, so that was a, a tough matchup, but we managed to still defeat uh, Claw uh, with Ant-Man protection. Uh, the big problem is that uh, as, as I'm not playing with the whole uh, collection, <laughs> making a deck is not uh, a bit different, so I, I don't have access to all of the cards that I'm usually using. So I, I was uh, actually pleasantly surprised with the second wins. Uh, they work quite well in Ant-Man, because um, you can really heal up with those. But yeah, that was that matchup, so we have one uh, matchup in the gauntlet left, and that will be Ultron versus Black Panther Aggression, so I'll set that up and I'll be right back. Okay, and for the final matchup, we have Ultron against Black Panther in aggression aspects. So, uh, last thing in the setup we need to do is to put one draw minion into play. We'll draw our opening hand. So we get uh, Wakanda forever, Hercules, Vibranium. Power of Aggression, Wakanda Forever and First Aid. We actually could play Hercules. Um, let's search for an Black Panther upgrade. We are getting the energy daggers because they are so good against multiple uh, drones. Uh, we probably won't play them until next turn, but Play them soon enough. So, um, 
uh, reduce the cost to play Hercules by one for each minion engaged with you. So it only would be five. I could save those. I think I could still play it. So it's uh, four and five. So we're only losing one. We could still play the energy daggers or play them next turn. Okay, so. Um, I'll keep the Wakanda forever. I'll uh, I'll pay five for Hercules, and I'll flip. I will I think I will play the daggers. Then I will defeat the drone, so the Impost Tigra. Hercules will hit for 3 damage. And that is our turn. We ready up. We draw back up to 5. And we get Ancestral Knowledge. Wakanda Forever, Vibranium, Uppercut and Skill Strike. So, a uh, pretty decent turn coming next turn. Also, uh, we add a threat to the main scheme. Uh, Alteron attacks, I will take it with Black Panther. And I won't defend. So, two. Oh, yeah, and we add one drone minion. Oh yeah, um, so first Ultron attacks, so 2 plus 2 is 4, we retaliate 1, we'll put one drone down, the drone attacks and deals 1 damage, I'll retaliate and defeat it, well it was Heimdall, and counter card is, uh, we put the drone minion in play. So, that was the first turn. Let's go to the next hero phase. So we can put... Eight different cards from my discard and back into my deck. Let's see if that's useful at this moment. So, at least Wakanda Forever and Vibranium. And maybe Tigra or Heimdall. Tigra could be good. Um, So I think we could also play the upper cut. I'll just play the upper cut. I'll use Ancestor Knowledge and Vibranium. Deal 5 damage to uh, Ultron. Then I will just uh, play the Wakanda forever. I'll deal two damage to everything. Then uh, Hercules and Black Panther will attack. Five damage total. Uh, that is our turn. Uh, we ready up. Get Shuri. Vibranium, Mean Swing, Panther Claws, and Mean Swing. We add a threat to the main scheme. Ultron attacks. I will... Uh, I... Yeah, I'll just uh, defend this time. If we are playing Shuri or Panther Claws or both next turn. So, uh, 2 plus 2 is 4, minus 2 is 2. So, 
uh, we retaliate one so Ultron goes to phase two so now when Ultron attacks uh, we put this this came in uh, after he attacked uh, now I'm not certain of the timing uh, because uh, phase one reads uh, after Ultron attacks you choose either place one threat or put the top card so it was after and retaliate so I'll play that I put the drone down then flip so now when Ultron attacks I'll put the drone down first and Ultron gets plus one damage for the drones okay the drone attacks and I'll defeat it with the retaliate Encounter card is a Court of Guard, discard an upgrade or support you control. Well, the only card I have is the Daggers, that's a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. And uh, Ultron has 22 health. Okay, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So this turn, uh, I think we definitely play Shuri. I'll use the Vibranium. So uh, I'll search my deck for an upgrade. I'll get the Vibranium suit. Then I will just play the Panther Claws. Or should I play the Suit? Yeah, I'll play the Claws. Uh, Shuri will Thwart for 1. Hercules will hit for 3. And I'll ready up. And I'll draw back up to five. We get Golden City, Power of Aggression. Chase them down, mean swing, and we have the Vibranium switch. We go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme. Uh, Ultron attacks. Shuri will. Well, Hercules will defend. And we put one drone. So Ultron defeats Hercules and the drone hits for one and dies to the retaliate and counter card is a Rage of Ultron. Uh, Ultron attacks you, discard the card for your deck for each damage you dealt by this attack. So Shuri will defend and uh, four damage and one drone. So we discard Shuri and four cards from the top of my deck. So we lose Chase then down, Wakanda forever, Tenacity and Skill Strike. Okay, well, um, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. I think we are mean swinging and retreating to Alter Ego for a turn. So I'll play Mean Swing and Exhaust Panther Claws because they are a weapon. I'll hit for 5. I'll flip. I'll play the Golden City and Exhaust it to draw 2 cards. And I will play the Vibranium Switch. Be ready up. I'll draw back up to 6. We get an extra encounter card, unfortunately. We have a Hall of Heroes, Wakanda Forever, Downtime, Uppercut, First Aid and Yarnborn. And we need to deal 14 damage next turn. 
uh, you're getting pretty close. So these are with the Wakanda Forever 5 damage. Then we have uh, 2 damage on the Chala. And we have another 5 damage. Actually we have... Uh, I think we just have lethal. The Yarnborn, if we... Uh, well, we first have to play it. But we can draw more cards with the, uh, Golden City next turn. So, um, we go to the villain phase. We advance, put the drone down. So, uh, Aldron schemes for two plus one is three, and the drones uh, scheme for two, so five. And got the card. First one is uh, deal one damage to each character you control. And uh, Ultron schemes for two plus zero, so two more there. So uh, I think we can beat Ultron next turn. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, we draw two cards with the Golden City. We get Mean Swing and Heimdom. So I think that is much more easier way, way to win now. So we don't even have to heal, we just flip. We'll Wakanda forever. I'll transfer one damage here, heal one. Then I'll deal four damage here. So we spent that. Then I will mean swing five damage. And I will finish up with upper cut for five damage. And that is the Globering Time Challenge Volume 2 done. So uh, I was playing on standard difficulty. Uh, when you manage to beat this challenge on the standard difficulty, you can also, after that, uh, up the difficulty by going to expert and trying again. If you manage to beat this uh, challenge, you can record your result. Uh, there is a link in the video description to the rules of this challenge and there should be a link after that link to the uh, spreadsheet where you can uh, report your uh, score. Uh, I managed to beat every villain on the first try. Uh, nothing really surprising on standard difficulty and I managed to get good hero packs to get good cards from for this challenge but still it's fun to uh, play this challenge because you're not, you have to restrict your uh, card pool a bit so it makes for some interesting deck building and hope you guys liked these uh, challenge videos. Thanks for watching and until next time.